Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying to solve another lead code problem, number 379, design full directory. So this is a design problem. So we need to understand what we are going to do. So design full directory that initially has maxed numbers. So this means we have max numbers empty slot. So the slot is used for store numbers, yeah. So the directory should store numbers, check if a certain slot is empty or not, and empty a given slot. Yeah, so this is what we are going to do. And for the API, we have a full directory. So inside of the full directory, it will be the max numbers. Yeah, so max the numbers, it means the maximum slot we have. Yeah. And uh, this integat is uh, provides a number that is not assigned to anyone. So if uh, that is uh, empty, so we can provide that number. If there's no such numbers available, we're going to return minus one. So this is uh, for check. So if this number, so yeah, if, if uh, this, uh, if uh, the slot number is available, so if this number inside of the slot is available, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So the release is just for release is the slot number. It means the number can be used again. Yeah, here we're going to check how many calls. It will be 2 times 10 to the power of 4 calls. Yeah, will be the get, check, and release. Normally, we can uh, try to solve it in O1. So O1 times 2 times 10 to the power of 4, it should be OK. Yeah, so the number should be more than or equal to 0 and less than max nums. And this max nums should be, yeah, from 1 to 10 to the power of 4. So for this kind of question, we can use a set to solve it. Yeah, so normally we can define a set. The set will store, yeah, so this is a set. The set will store the slot. So the slot will be read maxed numbers. So I will start from uh, 0 to the numbers 10 to the power of 4. So this is for the slot. So for the get, I just need to, yeah, so for for the get, I just need to check if the value is inside. For example, uh, this is a 3. Yeah, we just use get, we get a 1. So we can get a random number inside of the set. So how can we get that? We just need to return self.s, this is set.pop. So for this pop, we can pop a random number for this set. So we just need to pop out one of the numbers inside of the set. And how can we check that? We just need to return true if uh, this number yeah if this number uh, yeah so for here this pop we have to check if uh, the set is not empty so from here we have to check if uh, self dot set this set is not empty otherwise we have to return a minus one so this is from the question asked return minus one if no numbers is available so we have to do like that so here if this number is inside the set yeah if it is inside the set it means it is available so we're going to return a true so this means it's available so for the release we just need to uh, add this number to the set. So the self dot s dot add the number, and after release, this number becomes uh, available. Yeah. So actually, this is uh, the entire code. As you can see, for each one of them, there's only one line, and uh, we are using a set. So the time complexity should be O1. Now let me. Yeah, now let me just uh, submit it to check if it really works. Yeah, true if uh, number in self dot. 
yeah, here I did some syntax wrong. Uh, so here should be return this number in self dot s. Yeah, so this is gonna be true or false. Now let me submit it to check if it can pass all the testing cases. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty fast and it passed all the testing cases. Yeah, so the time complexity for the set is O1 because inside of the set, it is just some numbers and this number is not so big enough. And normally, according to the design of the has set, this time complexity should be O1, yeah? But sometimes, if the set design is not so good, it can be ON. But uh, that is not the case for our problem because this uh, number is very small. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you think this is helpful, please like and subscribe. See you next.